This is Ogilvy Castle, standing on a hill near the village of Donamana in County Tyrone, in the toy land of Lisglin. It was built by William and Adelaide Ogilvy around 1860. It was once a beautiful house, full of wealthy people and expensive things, but the Ogilvy family had long left it. The story we are going to tell is set in the late 1800s and is a love story of James Ogilvy, the son of William and Adelaide, a rich landowner and educated zoologist, and Mary Jane Jameson, a seamstress and the daughter of a local tenant farmer. What a beautiful day. Uh, I think I'll go for a ride into the village. I will go on to Donna Manor and on to London Dale. A young girl named Mary Jameson was also travelling on the road that day. She was a seamstress and was carrying some shirts into London Dairy to sell. Jean saw her and was struck by her beauty. Hello, I'm Jean Zogelby. I'm Mary Jameson. Hello. Well, I must be on my way. I hope we meet again. The romance had begun. James and Mary continued to meet, but neither Adelaide Ogilvy nor James Jameson, Mary's father, were happy about the match. So they carried on in secret. They often exchanged love letters using a hollow tree as a post box. And over the next few months, their love grew. Adelaide had decided to throw a great ball at Ogilvy Castle in the hope that James would choose one of those invited to be his bride. But James had all their ideas. He had decided to bring Mary along and introduce her as his bride-to-be. There is going to be a wonderful party at Ogilvy Castle tonight. Ali had invited me especially. Back at Ogilvy Castle, all was ready for the ball. The local gentry were invited. A splendid feast was prepared and the musicians were playing to welcome all to the party. What wonderful food, yum yum. Another super party, Adelaide. Let's clear tables for dancing, gentlemen. <laughs> James had brought Mary to the ball. I want you to meet my mother. I know that once she meets you, she will love you as much as I do and will give her blessings so we can be married. But Adelaide had other plans for her son. I want him to marry one of these young ladies. Now a common seamstress. The party is going so well. But not for long. Welcome to my home. There's my mother. Hello. Nice to see you again, James. Hi, James. But who's that here with them? I don't recognize her. 
Oh my, Adelaide is not going to be very happy about this. What are you doing bringing her to my house? I told you not to see her. But mother, I love her. You know how I feel about this. I told you she is not a suitable bride. Per James. You must marry a girl I choose. You, leave my house this instant. If Mary is leaving, then I am going with her. Oh, did you see her face? I am warning you, James. Take a rich bride of my choosing or leave this house. I love Mary. I cannot forsake her. I am leaving. Goodbye, mother. So James set off over the sea to Australia. My poor Mary, I love that fire. When James reached Australia, he was a zoologist recording many animals. He saw kangaroos, penguins, kookaburras, and koalas. Yum yum. Hi mum. Back in Donna Manor, Mary thought about her lost love. Oh I wonder how James is and if he will ever return. But James had also been thinking about Mary. I miss him so. There she is, my love. It's so good to see her. What is this? A letter in her hollow tree? If you are reading this, I am not far away. <gasps> Who could have written this? Is it a trick? It is not a trick, my darling. I have come back for you. Oh, James, I thought I would never see you again. James and Mary were married in St. James's Church on the 24th of November, 1884. Hooray! They left Ireland and travelled to Australia, where Mary helped James record wildlife on the Great Barrier Reef. Bye! Bye. Uh-huh.